I find it terribly ironic that you are giving a speech involving toast and saying how important it is, and yet your wife is your toastmaster. <laughs> it was not lost. You did a great job. You had a great introduction that set up your speech and helped us really understand where you were going, and we didn't need to wonder about that. You also had really strong content, not only just in, in your words, but also in your images that were on the screen. I really like that, the swoopy diagram. <laughs> I hadn't thought about being a boomerang. <laughs> so really, really strong content. I don't know if you made that or you had some of that uh, from your, your coaches or your training. But, or very good. And you also used a classic bookend technique in your introduction and your closing by starting out with toast and toasters and ending with your catchphrase, protect your income or your life is toast. <laughs> it's a very memorable, uh, great analogy and great for Toastmasters. I thought there might be a Pillsbury toaster strudel thrown in there, but no. <laughs> the things that I think you may want to work on in your revision for your next speech, because that's what you'll do for the second speech. Obviously, did you think that you were nervous? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you, you did seem like you were a little bit nervous, and even though you remembered everything really well, and you spoke with a great tone, and you had your content mastered, you were still nervous. There's no reason to be nervous. You're, you're here among friends, we're all here to support you, and it's okay if you take a deep breath and just let it go. So that'll help you connect better with your audience because when you're nervous, then I feel nervous. So that's okay. And the more experience you get, the better that'll get. Work on perhaps sharing your own story. Why did you feel like you needed life insurance? What benefits are there for you? Um, what concerns in your life are you solving with having appropriate life insurance? Help us connect to your story. Third, make a call to action. You had all this great content, but you didn't ask us to do anything at the end. What do you want us to do? Do you want us to have a, a consultation? Do you want us to sit down with a worksheet to figure out how much we need? What, what is it that you want us to do after you've given us all this great information? And then finally, you don't need to say thank you. Our applause will thank you. Just say your catch line, protect your income or your life is toast, <laughs> and walk off the stage. <laughs>